Hey guys, welcome back to Fish Story. I'm Cameron Kirkconnell with Team Salt Life. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the coolest fish in the ocean, marlin. Around the world, there's gonna be a lot of different names for fish. Marlin are so well respected everywhere. They have really unique individual names. Most people just call them marlin or billfish or the big blue one or something similar to that. So marlin are pelagic fish and honestly one of the most recognizable fish in the world because of the very unique bill that they have protruding out from the front of their nose. They use that when they're chasing fish to actually slap the fish like a sword and stun them and then they'll spin around and they'll eat the fish after that. So it's a really unique adaptation that this fish has created to catch its food. And when you're fishing for them, a lot of times you'll look back there and you'll see them smacking it at the bait and it, it really takes a lot of skill to hook these fish. Hence the reason this has become one of the most respected and sought after fish to chase. So the black and the blue marlin are the biggest of the marlin species. Both world records are in the 1400 pound range, but there has been blue marlin caught to 1800 pounds. That was a Hawaii fish that was caught years ago and multiple people touched the rod so it didn't count as a record. But if you can imagine an 1800 pound fish with a huge bill capable of eating 100 and 150 pound tunas, that is the giant that is a blue marlin. Marlin are incredible in that they can get up to 16 feet long. Personally, the biggest one I've ever seen, we were in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and we were spear fishing for tunas and we had a 250 pound yellowfin on. As the guy was pulling it up, this massive shape comes out from underneath it out of the deep blue depths and you see this bill come up. It was like the size of a baseball bat and it was like a 14, 15 foot blue marlin that must have been a thousand, maybe 1200 pounds. It actually came up and tried to eat this giant tuna. So those huge fish are one of the top predators in the ocean and just an unbelievable animal to be out there in the blue water. These are pelagic fish, so they're usually out in the open blue water, and generally people start looking for them off the shelf, which means off the continental shelf in the really deep water past 1,000 feet. How do you target marlin? They eat squid, tunas, mahi, mackerel, pretty much any fish they can find out there, they're gonna chase it down and try to get it. It's interesting when you watch videos of big schools of tuna, all of a sudden they'll all come together in a real tight ball and like hide under the boat or whatever it is. Usually that is gonna be a giant marlin showing up to chase them. And those tunas lose their minds trying to get away from them and the marlin comes in and like slashes them with the bill and then turns around and eats them. So when we're fishing for them, we wanna look like a big school of tuna or a big school of bait. And that's why people will have a lot of different lines out, but also teasers. They'll have a teaser with five or 10 or even 20 baits on it, skipping or below the water to draw these fish up. And then they've got their big bait, which they usually do a pitch bait, which would be a dead bait with a hook in it. So they actually sight the fish before they ever put a, a hook in the water, put that bait in the water, feed it back to them, pull the dredge or the, uh, the teaser out of the way, and then this big, beautiful bait is there and the marlin grab it. The other way to do it is to troll big, hard lures. A lot of times a boat will troll from two to four of them, and they're just trolling at a constant speed of seven to 10 knots, and they're making a lot of commotion, big splashes, big, beautiful skirt, and the marlin just come and crush them in one big bite. The tackle for marlin is generally pretty heavy. Um, depending on the species, the white and the striped marlin are a little bit smaller. The average size is 50 to 150 pounds, but the big marlin, the blues and the blacks, people will use like 80 to 130 pound test line and reels and heavy, heavy rods. In recent years, people have gotten more into fly fishing and into stand-up fishing for these animals, and they can use a little bit smaller rigs, a little bit smaller tackle, and they stand up and fight them. But no matter how you choose to do battle with these fish, it is one of the most incredible animals you can fish for. So the season for marlin is definitely year round worldwide. There's always somewhere to go to chase these fish. In the United States, 
from the east coast through the gulf of mexico and up the uh, the west coast of california it varies a little bit but generally it is summertime summertime is a fantastic time to catch a marlin there's a lot of food there's tunas there's mahi there's a lot of stuff for them to eat so that's the best time to chase them so of the marlin species, the striped and the white marlin are regarded as the best eating of these fish. We talked about what an incredible fish these are for us to pursue and to chase and to hunt and to, to catch. And for that reason, most billfish are a catch and release only species. In the United States, it's very rare that you see a marlin kept or a sailfish kept, and it's better just to let these fish go. In the event that one of these fish passes away during the, the fight though, they are great eating. The white and the stripes are very, very good. You can even, even eat them as sashimi. The bigger they get though, these big blue and black marlin that can be a thousand pounds, you gotta start thinking about mercury. <laughs> so. Be careful eating the really, really big ones. The best thing to do is to fight them with the right tackle, get them up alongside the boat, don't take them out of the water, and then release them so you can catch them another day. So that is marlin, an incredible fish, and I hope that you guys all get a chance to go out and see one someday and hopefully fight and catch one. I'm Cameron Kirkconnell for Team Salt Life, and this is Fish Story. I hope you guys subscribe and look for more episodes coming soon.